hello everybody and welcome back to the channel there's zoe so today we're headed to the goodwill bins but we're making a stop first we're headed to a new thrift store called thrift town this is our first time there so if you want to see what we find just stay tuned hey <laughs> say hey <laughs> see you guys in a minute. Occasionally, this has chips on it, but pretty. Oh, that is cute. It's a picture, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's the, a teapot. Yeah, thank you. your finger. Oh, I like it. It they got a chip on it, though. You got this one. That oh, one. yeah. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. But it is unusual. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, look, it's dirty. It's plastic, huh? Yep. Oh, look, it's dirty. Okay. okay. And it's green. Might have to get that. Oh, look at the little trinket box. Something fell off of it. I heard it. It's not like a bean. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, this is keto. It's a napkin holder. Where's the little safe? I have one of those. Okay, so I had to switch up into a voiceover. We were getting closer and closer to the speaker. So let's jump back in. I did see this adorable cup. Green is my favorite color, so I was drawn to it, and it had a K on it. Like, I sent a picture to my sister. She makes custom cups, and I feel like she could just make me one, and it would be brand new and not used. Then Zoe found this adorable little doggy. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. He did have quite a bit of damage. He was not signed. And I felt like he was more modern, but he was adorable. Now I found this little lettuce celery plate. I'll go back to the cup because I'm just in love with it. Then I find these stacked vintage plates. Um, they had the hanging on them. You know how I feel about those hangings. If you remove it, it damages the plates. Um, I could not get that sticker off to see if it was signed or what the stamp was on the back. It was on every last one of the plates. This little egg trinket box was cute. I felt like it was modern due to little felt circles on there. And then Zoe found more dogs. Comment below if you know what this breed is with this long nose. I could not put my finger on it. I thought it was so adorable. This one too felt like it's a, a spaniel mix. Oh, that trinket box is cute. It looks um Japanese. Then we found another dog. They were resin. Um, they did have some chipping on it. See right there. So I did decide to leave them. Then I came across these vintage California pottery wedges. I felt like there was supposed to be four. But for $2.99 plus 50% off would have made them about $150. I did pick up the set of three.
And then I saw this little teacup, but they didn't match the plate. So I think someone just set it on top of there. That little doll scared me. You know how I feel about dolls. And then Zoe found these art glass animals and insects. Um, They were running about $4.99, $5.99, and they only sell for about $10 to $15. So I end up doing a trial and just getting the ladybugs. I think they're made by Sylvia, Sylvia, something like that. They are a Japanese. Um... Okay, so we have to stop recording in this location because the manager said we had to get approval from the owner and the owner was not there. So we did respect their wishes. We stopped recording. So let me just show you guys what we bought. And there's no love lost. Um, eventually when I get to speak to the manager, we'll build a relationship where I can record. I think I'm just a spoiled by my normal Goodwill locations where we're on first name basis. <music> Do I see?